Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is February 11th, 2017, and we're going to be viewing some amazing photographs captured by the NASA space satellites and cameras that monitor the sun and the earth. And what we're about to view may possibly be a large plasma burst that was near the earth. And this plasma burst lasted for several days, according to the footage that we captured on the stereo and Sechi images. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this because it's pretty overwhelming. Now, what we're looking at is the H1A, which stands for a head. And I started this imaging at the end of of January so we can take a good look at what was happening right before this plasma burst starts to appear and I let it run out through the 6th of February now as you can see here's the earth you have the Sun over towards the left and then you'll start to see this illuminated spike to the right where my cursor is and it gradually starts to appear out of nowhere now the way that this imaging is captured at this point in time there is nothing behind the earth meaning there is no other planet that we know of that is behind the earth that would be producing this type of anomaly. Now, we not only captured it on the stereo images, but we also captured it on the Sechi images, and this was actually more profound. And when we were looking at this, once again, this just comes out of nowhere. It does last for several days now once again you have the Sun over here to the left side of your screen you have other objects passing by in view of the camera once again you can see this large light anomaly plasma burst however you can see it's forming some type of spherical object as it starts to enter into the line of the camera I've never seen anything like this and I've been examining these Sechi and Soho and Lasco and stereo images for a long time I've never seen anything like this and I've never seen any type of a lens flare or camera anomaly like that before and whatever it is, it stayed in view for quite some time, several days. So I've never seen a lens flare in space last for days because everything is in constant motion. Now to the left, you can see large bursts coming from the Sun however the large bursts from the Sun they're not it doesn't seem like they're reacting to whatever this object is to the right whether this is a large plasma burst or just a light anomaly but it just doesn't make sense what we're seeing and we'll move back to the other image once again I mean you can see other objects in space moving by you can clearly see the earth you can see the reaction to the left of the Sun and then here it comes from the right of your screen now whenever I said there is nothing behind the earth such as another planetary object another planet 
There's nothing behind the earth that would be causing that type of plasma burst that we know of. So I went ahead and I pulled up the uh, solar system scope and we're taking a direct look at what the camera is viewing. So we had the sun on the left of the screen. We have the earth here. So as you can see, there's nothing in space behind the earth. Nothing. So what is back here that would be causing that burst to come from the right to the left? So we're going to continue to try and figure this out. Now, if anyone else has any ideas on what actually occurred in the video footage that we watched from two different spacecraft, two different camera systems, all at the same time, capturing the same anomaly. I think we definitely need to investigate a little further to try to find out what that exactly was because it wasn't Venus. Venus is right here. It is nowhere near behind the Earth. No matter which way you turn, there is nothing behind the Earth. Nothing. Now, something that I did notice when looking at the SOHO image on the same dates, I noticed in one of the plasma bursts or CMEs from the sun, the shadow of a large spherical object. What might this be? Again, folks, it's very hard to say because when we're looking at these images, you know, NASA previews all of this footage first. It's like they proofread it and they have been known to change the images, crop them, cut them. They do all kinds of things to these images. So it's hard to say what we just visualized. I don't know. But it's absolutely amazing that we capture this, what seems to be some type of energy source. And you can see it actually develops. And again, when viewing this, you can start to see a very large halo forming right here. So again, we're going to just try to wait and see if anyone comes up with what exactly are we looking at. And I'm really not going to take the answer, oh, it's a lens flare. Because once again, folks, if you look at the bottom of this imaging, you will see the date. And this is rolling from the 28th of January straight through to February 5th, February 6th. So I've never seen a lens flare stick around for that many days, especially when things are in constant motion in space. And once again, we have things interacting with our sun. There's absolutely no doubt about it. So once again, if anyone has any idea on what we've just visualized in this footage, leave your comments in the comment section under the video. Let's try to figure this out because that just does not even look right. It actually looks kind of dangerous, whatever it is. And then as you can see there, it just kind of fades away and then we lose the footage. 
So let's try to put our heads together, figure that out. If you have the answer or your own theories, leave your comments in the comment section under the video. Stay tuned to the Nibiru channel. If you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you set up your notifications and stay tuned for all of our further updates. Thank you for watching.